so that you can release the guilt, release this perfectionism, release the heaviness of like, I should be doing what they're doing because maybe you shouldn't. thought that I was an action artist, but here I am. So let's dive into it. So the visionary, a lot of people who come into architecture may identify as a visionary because they love art. They love uh, visualizing different projects and they can see floor plans and buildings and in their mind. And that's how they have been able to create these beautiful designs. But surprisingly, the amount of people who I have worked with through this process and have taken them through this quiz actually surprise themselves and they're not visionaries. So that's also why I really recommend doing the quiz because it unleashes this whole brand new like awakening. So if you're a visionary, you are very visual. You love to watch videos. You know, if you join me each week on Design, Create, Inspire, you're likely watching me over on YouTube rather than listening to me over on the podcast. You may be going over to the blog and looking at the pictures associated with each week's episode. You love the diagrams. So when you're taking the exams, things like Amber Book or Black Spectacles for different videos are really effective for you. You love to watch them. You love to look at the books with the diagrams. Going through the textbooks that are just words and words and words, it can kind of like be a little eyes roll in the back of your head. You may even just skip to the pictures and then go around the uh, captions and then dive deeper based on that. So the visionary is awesome for architecture. You do a really great job creating presentations and putting together um, visual sides of architecture. So maybe in school it was, you know, curating that perfect render or putting together that beautiful presentation. So in terms of the exams, it's really important that when you are studying, you are harnessing this through visual mediums. So again, videos, diagrams, and then also how you actually retain that information through your note taking. So how you not only consume the information, but how you implement it so that you can best retain it. So that's what we dive into in the workshop, how to best retain that information as you're consuming it. So it's not just going in one year and out the next. But the visionary is an exciting role where you, you know, see in pictures or your mind is in pictures. You can remember as you're sitting there in your exam, you can remember diagrams and pictures and all that good stuff. Okay, let's move over to the action artist. The action artist is also someone that is very big in architecture because we are usually building, we are moving, we are creating models, we're physically working with materials. And so someone who's an action artist really likes to explore their education through movement, through trial and error, through experimentation. And so you may be the person in school who loved to build models. Maybe you were building those little cardboard models in order to explore a concept or a design. In school, maybe science class like physics was your favorite because you could experiment, you could do the different things, and it really helped you solidify that information in your brain. Now for me, I hated models. I really did not like making models in school, and so that's why I really did not identify with this personality. But as I started to explore the personality more and understand it, I understood why I am this personality. I retain information really well while I'm moving. So I like to listen to a podcast and clean the house or go on a walk or uh, read a book while I'm on the treadmill. And it's that actual movement that helps my mind calm and retain the information. And so the action artist, yes, they like to experiment and move in terms of like building, but it also might just be that movement. Might be hard for you to sit down and read a book cover to cover. It might be hard for you to totally stay focused on a lecture or even a video series because your mind starts wandering or you're starting to fidget and you wanna just get up and move. Now for us action artists, sitting for a four hour exam can be brutal. 
it can be really difficult. And so for me, I used to break it up with that break in between. I'd go walk around. I'd move my body. I would literally do jumping jacks in the bathroom to break it up to help my mind calm down, help me tap into that information that I knew in order to continue and pass my exams. So this can be difficult with some of the new systems if you're not taking a break and all that stuff. But that is why it's so important to know your personality in order to know like, hey, this is four hours. I'm going to start not tapping into the knowledge I really know unless I take a break and I move. There's also little strategies and I teach all this inside Mind Over ARE where you can literally create movement, um, hack your brain so that while you're sitting in your exam, if you are this action artist, that you can be moving your body in specific ways in order to stay focused. And you may notice when I am talking, I'm always talking with my hands. I am like moving while I am talking and that is the action artist in me. And I know it can be distracting for other people. Sometimes I've heard that, you know, on videos, oh, you should reduce your hand movements, but that's just how I learn. That's how I communicate. And so for me, that is what makes the most sense. Once I understood that that was my personality, it allowed me to harness it more. It allowed me to embrace it and it allowed me to create tools so that I could best learn. It allowed me also to not feel guilty for not sitting down and studying for one hour straight. I realized, hey, I can still pass these exams even though though I'm not sitting and studying and reading a book cover to cover for four hours like someone else is. So that is why it's so powerful to understand these personalities so that you can release the guilt, release this perfectionism, release the heaviness of like, I should be doing what they're doing because maybe you shouldn't. 